Here in this session, we shall discuss refresh rates and interlacing. So, at first we are starting with the what is refresh rate. Due to the phosphorescence property of phosphor atom, the phosphor glows and after some time the intensity of the glowing phosphor dots reduces. So, what will happen in the previous video we have discussed the property that is a phosphorescence that means when the phosphor atoms will be stocked with the electron beam then depending upon the energy in the electron beam those phosphor atoms will get some energy and it will go to the next higher state and then after being there for some duration it will come back to its original lower energy state and it will leave some energy in the form of light energy and that is why we say that phosphor is glowing. So, you know that after remitting the energy the phosphor will lose the energy the extra energy what was imparted by the electron beam. So, that is why it requires refreshing of that level. So, to maintain the stable image the electron beam must sweep the enter surface of the screen and then return to redraw it a number of times per second. So, that is why the electron gun should go on refreshing those energy levels for within a certain number of times within a second. So, this process is called the refreshing the screen. If the electron beam takes too long to refresh it becomes visible as a flicker in the image. So, we know that we are having we human being are having the persistence of vision that means if two things are taking place within one tenth of a second within this time gap one tenth of a second then human eye and human brain cannot isolate them. But if this refresh rate is very low in that case obviously we human being can feel that there are some flickering is coming on the screen. In order to avoid flicker the screen image must be redrawn fast enough so that the eye cannot tell that the refreshing is going on. So, if you can do this refreshing in a very faster manner in a very faster rate then human eye cannot feel that one the refreshing is taking place again and again. So, no flickering will be observed by the human being. The refresh rate is the number of times per second that the screen is refreshed and it is measured in hertz. So, the unit of frequency, the refresh rates are somewhat standardized and common values are. So, the standardized values are 56, 60, 65, 70, 72, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 110 and 120 hertz. Now, let us discuss what is interlacing. So, what is interlacing? So, another technique for stable image is interlacing. So, in this technique instead of refreshing the screen every time the electron beams sweep alternate lines in each pass. So, that is very interesting. So, in one pass it will just ignite those lines which are having the even row numbers. In the next pass it will ignite those lines which will be having the odd row numbers. So, that is known as interlacing. So, odd number of lines are refreshed at the first pass and in the second pass even number lines are drawn. This allows the refresh rate to be doubled because only half of the screen redrawn at a time. So, refresh rate will become double in that case. So, usual rate for interlace scanning is 87 hertz. So, 43.5 hertz of real refresh in half screen interlacing. So, in the odd numbered lines represent scanning one half of the screen and the even numbered lines represent scanning of the other half and there are two separate sets of horizontal and vertical retrace. So, now you can see that we have made the different colors in the alternate way you know the adjacent lines are having the different colors if you go for the alternate lines they are having the same colors. So, here we are having this horizontal retrace and here we are having this vertical retrace and these are the respective scan lines we are observing. So, in this way in this particular video we have discussed what is interlacing and also we have discussed what is the refresh rate. Thanks for watching this video.